Sake gesprek met Theo Foster in collaboration with Bonitas. Lee, welcome. Hello, Theo. Retirement planning. Part of retirement planning is planning for your medical aid. It needs to form part of that. Um, your advice on how people should approach the medical aid part of retirement planning. Theo, as you said, it's such a critical component that's sometimes neglected. Our data at Benitez have shown that for every single year that you age, your actual medical expenses grows by 2%. So it's so important to consider and plan for the future when it comes to your health care. The reason being is, as we all know, as we get older, you know, things like cataracts, uh, diabetes, back and neck problems starts uh, arising, obviously from our younger uh, adulthood. So it's important that you actually have a medical scheme plan that covers for these options or situations. You know, an emergency can arise, you could be in a car accident and need access to healthcare. So it's important to be on the right option with the right benefits. Uh, in terms of ensuring that your healthcare is adequately covered as you age. Now, now the other side to that coin of, of medical expenses increasing is if your budget gets tighter, should you look at alternatives? Should you scale down? What's your advice on that? Yeah, so, you know, the immediate answer is don't scale down. But one has to be practical and the current economic climate people are feeling the pinch financially so our advice is to make an informed decision an informed decision in terms of what can i afford but also in terms of what is the cost of the health care that i will require in the future you know whether it's uh, having spectacles or dental or a back and neck surgery that's required in the future, you have to consider in terms of when you're buying down or consider an alternative option, whether those options are gonna cover the specific needs that you require. I see it so often where people buy down and specifically for the chronic condition, they find themselves that they don't have access to the specific medication that they require or they need to do a co-payment and that doesn't sit well with them. Um, and for that reason, we always say make an informed decision based on your healthcare needs in the main first before just buying down or leaving a medical scheme. Let's go to the other side of this coin. If you are at university or you're starting to finish up your studies, when is the right time to join a medical aid? Well, Theo, when you speak to youngsters these days, the uh, argument is I'm happy, I'm healthy, I don't need healthcare. But uh, the advice that I would give to any young person, as soon as you can afford to join a medical aid, do so. And the reason for it is that, you know, your health is not a stagnant element. It progresses throughout your life. And sometimes there is silent diseases that's underlying. And by joining a medical aid, you can have access to preventative healthcare benefits. At Bonitas, we've got the EDGE options, which is uh, Bonstart and Bonstart Plus. It gives you access to these preventative healthcare benefits. So you can do screening for early detection of your healthcare needs. And in that way, you're actually able to manage your proactively to prevent later causes of health problems in your life. But not only that, if you don't join a medical aid, you can actually later on pay more for your medical aid because of late joiner penalties, exclusions, etc. So short advice, join a medical scheme as soon as you can afford it. Lee, the economy sometimes puts pressure on people. What is the effect if I were to cancel my medical aid for a period? In short, if you cancel and step out of a medical aid and you want to rejoin again, Theo, is that there is a risk where you're going to have general waiting periods or condition-specific waiting periods, but most that actually affects your pocket is what they call late joiner penalties. And that actually costs you more than what your actual cost is of that particular option. So our advice is, you know, try as best possible to stay on a medical aid because under the regulation of the Medical Schemes Act, uh, schemes can underwrite for members that exit uh, a medical fund. So it couldn't, can cost you more in the long term. So be careful to do that as an emotional option. This debate about national health insurance, the NHI, what's your view? Well, Theo, firstly, NHI as Benitas, we fully support the national health insurance. The reason being is that it's a constitutional right. It's a right that we should all have as South Africans. I don't think there's a debate around it. Key, however, is that 
there needs to be a transitional process in terms of getting to a point where you have a fully functional and effective healthcare ecosystem. And to that point where we are concerned as a medical scheme is the current format around it. A medical scheme cannot be relegated to a complementary service. In our opinion, the, the way the current legislation is set out, we would appeal to the lawmakers to restructure it, to allow a medical scheme to function in parallel while we actually built the healthcare system, starting with primary healthcare services in South Africa. Lee, thank you very much. Thank you, Theo. Sakegesprek met Theo Foster in collaboration with Bonitas.